My name is Peter Hatton. I'm Managing Director of Hyden Analytical. Based in Warrington, UK, in the northwest of England and located close to Liverpool. We design, develop and manufacture quadrupole mass spectrometers. We're a specialist company. We have over 100 staff, including scientists, engineers and technicians. The quadrupole mass spectrometer is a powerful sensor. It has extremely wide dynamic range, high sensitivity and very fast data acquisition speed. These are the features that make it so powerful. We designed the quadrupole mass spectrometer into our product to maximize the potential of the sensor for the application and to deliver the results that our customers demand. With expert help available only an email away and we continue to support our products that are well over 20 years old. We are engaged in many of the world's big science projects, CERN, ETF, space research in semiconductor, vacuum plasma and surface analysis, catalysis, real-time reaction studies, electrochemistry, DEMS, and environmental studies, including groundwater, sludge and soil analysis, and volcanoes too. Hayden produces a whole range of uh, mass spectrometer products for catalysis. Um, from the most fundamental level at uh, UHV surface sciences, we produce bolt-on probes, uh, for more complex applications, we have uh, a full range of uh, gas analysis systems. So if customers have their own TGA system or their own reactor, they offer a fully integrated solution um, for mass spec analysis from uh, different reactors. Finally, we have our mass spectrometer um, micro-reactor system, the CAT Lab, which is a fully integrated uh, reaction system, uh, all controlled by one software package. So this allows you to do uh, temperature program studies, pulse chem absorption and reaction testing all in one. Um, integrated system um, all through one software package. The main advantage of uh, mass spectrometers in catalysis use is the real-time data it can supply. Uh, so we have a, a fast acquisition speed unlike uh, other traditional techniques such as GC. Carbon dioxide reduction by electrolysis allows the production of hydrocarbons from captured carbon dioxide. We have our own cell which allows the users to look at the mechanisms of this process and fine tune it. It allows them to quantify the products in their liquid electrolytes. From Hyden, we're able to give you bespoke inlets to look at the various stages of all different processes and all different experiments. So we can look at the dissolved gases in liquids, we can look at the vapors and we can look at the gases and we have various different cells and other products which allow us to connect and easily adapt the experiment to your need. SIMS is second dry mass spectrometry. It actually allows us to do mass spectrometry on the solid material. So normally we'd be doing mass spectrometry with a gas or a finely divided material entered into the vacuum. Here we can put a solid sample into the vacuum and actually measure it. So we, we fire a beam of ions at the sample. They, those ions generate surface ions coming from the material and that's what we can put into the mass spectrometer. When you first start doing the analysis, you'll measure the top layer of atoms. So that's very good if you've got adhesion problems, or debonding, or if there's some sort of surface contamination. We can measure those species and see where they come from. As you continue to sputter, you start to expose deeper layers. There we can do depth profiling. That way we can look at layered structures, and that might be in semiconductor industry, could be in aerospace, could be a pharmaceutical coating, or a, a passivation layer on some sort of metal coating that's perhaps used in a, an aggressive environment. And there we would profile down into the material and follow the chemical composition. Building an image in three dimensions, that can have nanometer depth resolution, and it can also be a parts per million concentration level. So it's a very, very powerful technique for doing that. In terms of plasma applications, there's two broad areas that Hyden cover, and that's low pressure plasmas and atmospheric plasmas for various types of research and applications. We have the Hyden HBR60 system, which can be used to characterize directly atmospheric plasmas, which are generally used for medical treatment applications as well as surface treatment applications. These plasmas are highly ionized, inert gas-based plasmas, which are a combination of electrons, ions, neutrals and radicals, as well as UV. One of the new developments for high-pressure plasmas is in wound healing applications. We offer this system to both the manufacturers and researchers in academia to fully characterize these cold atmospheric plasmas. Low pressure plasmas encompass a wide variety of applications, from plasma enhanced deposition of advanced optical coatings, 
to ion thrusters being developed for the next generation of spacecraft. Here at Haydn, we utilise two techniques for characterising these plasmas, Langmuir probes and plasma sampling mass spectrometry. The SBN Langmuir probe system works by measuring the electrical properties of a plasma, and from this we can derive physical properties. This information could be for monitoring process stability over time during semiconductor manufacturing, or for checking uniformity on a large area plasma. The electrostatic quadrupole plasma system is a mass spectrometer designed to sample ions, neutrals and radicals directly from a plasma. It also features a 45 degree sector energy analyzer, which gives it the capability of measuring ion energies of up to 1000 electron volts. This allows the user to not only determine the constituent species of the plasma, but their energies as well. This is of particular importance for deposition applications, where often the quality and properties of the resulting coating are highly dependent on these. One of the latest products from Hayden is a portable quadruple analyzer, which can be powered with a 12 or 24 volt supply. This is actually very useful for studies on the field because sometimes, for example, in volcanic areas, the analysis of the samples can take a few days. So since this is actually a portable, it can be used on the field, it will be possible to actually monitoring on site in real time the development of phenomena that are happening in the area. You can analyze very simple species like uh, water, CO2, hydrogen, oxygen, and then you can detect also more complicated species like maybe noble gases and hydrogen sulfide, sulfur oxide, and many other pollutants that can be found from benzene to more complicated molecules that can go up to two, three or 500 AMU. Our distributors, representatives, and group companies provide global reach to our customers around the world and give a local presence for personal application and service support.